The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee's new senior advisor for strategic outreach referred to police officers as white supremacists after the storming of the Capitol in January and condoned looting in the wake of the death of George Floyd. Dewan Tatro made the comments before he joined the DCCC in early February, the answer to white supremacists storming the Capitol is not to give more money to a different group of white supremacists whose sick job it is to uphold white supremacy, Tatro wrote in a Twitter thread about the Capitol Police budget on Jan. Eight. That tweet was taken down after this article's publication, U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick died after defending the Capitol on Jan. 9. Two of the earlier tweets in the thread have also been deleted. Tatro's Twitter bio includes the disclaimer My Views. 10. Tatro characterized looting as protests against systemic racism in August, I don't understand why you can't condemn violent police, and acknowledge looting as a vital form of social protest. 11. And, how about you not use sterilized language when referring to state-sanctioned murder while maligning protests against the systemic racism that enables it, Tatro responded to another user's tweet about calling for both police reform and condemnation violence and looting. 12. Tatro also compared reforming police to reviving Nazism, to all those people who want to reform the police because all cops aren't bad, should we just go ahead and revive Nazism because all Nazis weren't bad? I didn't think so. 13. Case closed, he wrote on Twitter in June, DCCC spokesman Cole Leiter pushed back against a New York Post article published Sunday night that highlighted Tatro's past as a gang member who was convicted for shooting two rival gang members more than a decade ago. Tatro was featured in the 2019 documentary College Behind Bars for earning his bachelor's degree while in prison. Dewan Tatro serves his time. Then DCCC hires him after he becomes a national leader in a bipartisan movement to reform prison education systems. New York Post publishes trash headline, Leiter wrote on Twitter on Monday morning. A DCCC press release announcing Tatro's hire said he and other operatives would bring years of critical experience in progressive politics, and a valuable range of background. I am thrilled to welcome these seasoned operatives on board, DCCC Chair Sean Patrick Maloney said February. Three. 